Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to set up the Yuzu emulator on your Windows machine so you can emulate Nintendo Switch games and honestly it works pretty well and the compatibility day by day is getting better and the actual emulator is getting updated which is fantastic. So this is Windows, I'll do a separate video for other OSs as well so feel free to check them out. Okay, so what we're going to do, we need to download Yuzu. So if you literally Google Yuzu and then go to this website, click download. And first of all, you need to download this Microsoft Visual C++ 2 2019 and just click that. I'm going to cancel it because I've already got it downloaded. Next, you want to scroll down, click download for Windows X64. And again, I'm going to cancel it because I've already got it downloaded. And next, if you go to you getting started, there's a comprehensive page here of everything that you need to do. So it shows you hardware requirements, it even shows you links to OpenGL and Vulcan websites where you can actually check your graphics cards information. So for me, I have a 2080 Ti, I have OpenGL 4.6, and there's the minimum OpenGL. And for Vulcan, I have a 1.2.162, which is above the minimum of 1.1. So that is fantastic. You technically do need to hack your switch because there are a few things you need to get off there. You need to get the production keys. In this tutorial, I mean, or this guide here, it says you need the, if we go down, the prod keys and the title keys. Honestly, the prod keys are all you need. I won't be providing the prod keys or the title keys for that matter for legal purposes but you can google you know use the keys and you'll be able to find something you could dump them yourself according to this guide if you haven't hacked your switch or if you have then you just have to dump them and you may have already dumped them and i'll have a link in the description to the discord page where there's more information about the emulator so feel free to check that out and that's really all you need to know obviously make sure you obviously have games via some method whether you're downloading them or dumping them that's totally up to you make sure you have them okay so now that we've got yuzu and we got visual c 2019 redistributable let's install them so go to your downloads folder and first of all click the vc redist so I've already got installed, so if not, you'll have an install button. I'll just click repair, I'll just you know, go through the process again. This is basically what will happen. And do, 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 do. not gonna take long now. And then once this is done, we will install Yuzu itself and then copy over the production keys. And here we go. It says restart, I should be okay, but I recommend it, but I'm not going to bother. So do a click Yuzu, and from here, you can choose to create a desktop shortcut, it's up to you. Bare minimum, you need this. And you can install Yuzu early access if you want. I recommend that you just install regular Yuzu, because that's the more stable version. Click install, and an error has occurred. It's saying this folder is not empty. That's just because I already in installed it, then uninstalled it, so what I'll do, what I'll do, just uninstall this. So this is a great way of seeing how to actually overcome this if you uninstall it and you need to reinstall it. And I'll find out data. So that means that will be a, a hidden folder. App data where we're looking, we're looking local and then user. Okay, so I'll literally delete that, go off that, back, install, boom, there we go. So it's downloading some Yuzu files as well. So shouldn't take long, it's not very big. It's a pretty lean emulator to be fair. Now it's just installing what we just downloaded or what it just downloaded, I should say. And here you go. <laughs> now, I've been very impressed 
with the way the emulator or the development team of the emulator has done the documentation and everything like on the website itself i've closed it but it was showing you where to check your opengl and vulcan versions it's telling you the way it's installed uh, for me no early access so let's click exit let's double click this and we'll get this on first run you'll get this ignore it click ok and ignore this for now move game directory so go to open user folder you have a folder called keys i've seen some people that don't have the folder if you don't just right click go to new folder and name it keys in here we will put our production keys if you already have something like that there ignore it you may or may not that's not a problem so now that we've got the production keys in there we should for some reason they opened it twice we should close it down and then reopen it and here we go okay so before we launch up a game you can go over to here you can choose full screen mode if you want to you can also go to configure and from here you can choose if you want to you know emulate multi-core change the speed percentage if you want to do that there's some hotkeys for like you know loading saving exiting full screen etc so feel free to modify them i mean most of this you're probably not going to need to mess with and in system you can change it from stereo to surround sound if you have that sort of equipment and again most of this you can leave the cpu you can change i recommend leaving it on accurate and for graphics you can change this to either opengl or vulcan try both and see which works best change the aspect ratio highly recommend that you leave it really and Make sure this is on use vsync it's opengl only but that allows it, it prevents screen tearing Accur accuracy level keep that as high audio again you can change it in controls you can have up to eight controllers just click you know connect controller if you want a controller for one of those and you know you can modify the joy con colors if you want so you can connect up you know pro controller joy cons individual joy cons the gamecube controller handheld so that's what you're emulating so if you're doing a pro controller you can use keyboard and mouse and you could start mapping it so for example i could press that so if i pressed g it's now the g key and i can click default as well and it will show you the connected controller you can mess around with the vibration stuff obviously on a keyboard and mouse i won't feel any of that but you feel free to connect up an xbox controller it's one of the easiest ways you know like a xbox one controller that has bluetooth in it from like xbox one x onwards or an xbox series x controller will just work out of the box that's connected by bluetooth or plug and play via a micro usb or usb type c cable for the newer controllers and then you can just map it and i will actually create separate videos of how to map different controllers so feel free to you can know save a profile and create new profiles as well if you have multiple controllers connected so click ok i'm going to remove this game directory so to add a game directory you just click this or you might get some other thing that says double click just do that and go to your folder where you've got your games you can either have one folder where all your games are and then you just select folder and they will all appear there or you can just go to file load file and load the individual file so if i go to like new super mario brothers and just click that it's loading the shaders won't take long and the game will load up and there's just some information here about like frame rate etc you can you know choose to go into dock mode as well so it emulates all of that cool stuff and the sound will appear momentarily there we go so that is it obviously depending on the game it may or may not have 100 percent compatibility i'm going to lower this volume now and you can go to here and pause it stop it restart it feel free to you know do that i want to minimize it i want to show you one thing before i wrap up and that is if we go to using go to compatibility 
and you can see the compatibility for different games. You ideally want it on perfect, but at the moment you're not going to get many perfect games, but the compatibility is improving. So like the one I just whacked on, so new Super Mario Brothers, new Super Mario Bros. It is a bad, it is bad, bad, bad. So bad is considered duh, 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 duh. game functions with major graphical or audio glitches, unable to progress in specific areas due to glitches, even with workarounds. That's one of the games I had dumped, you know, from my own library. So I just wanted to show you that. And but again, feel free to check this. This is going to be updated all the time and you'll get updates. So feel free to check out the Discord page of the official user emulator, their Twitter and GitHub pages. And like I said, you can check out my Discord page for more information on how to run and set up this emulator. I want to say thanks for watching. Also, this video is not condoning piracy. It is for educational purposes. I recommend for legal purposes that you own an, in, in, no, a Nintendo Switch and any games that you're going to play. Thanks for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.